Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create shapes with your text in Canva. All of this can be done completely within Canva, and you can create any shape with your text when you do it this way. Now, this is completely separate from the Canva text effects where you can outline and curve and all of that stuff. With this feature that I'm about to show you, you can create any shape you want in Canva. You don't have to go outside of Canva for any of this. And you can do this for free. You do not need a Canva Pro account to use this feature. Okay, so here you see I've just got some basic shapes um, in, in text here. And um, I've just done some very simple ones, but as I go through this, you'll see how you could get more and more elaborate shapes with your text in Canva. Okay, how did I do this? Let me show you. So you have probably seen this apps feature here in Canva and you've kind of wondered, what are apps? Like, what is that? What does that do? If you click into it, you're going to see a bunch of different things here and you're like, oh, okay, well, I don't really even know what all of this is. Explore that sometimes. There's a lot of great stuff in there, but the one I want to show you today is called Typecraft. If you don't see it immediately as you're scrolling, it's actually right here. But if you don't see it, because everyone's app section is going to look different, you just come up to this um, search bar here and type in Typecraft, and it will pull this up for you. You click into this app, and it's going to open this little menu section. The drawback here is that you are limited to your designing here in this side pane. You can't design out here on your page. You have to design here. Um, I am going to just kind of, you know, I'm just going to create a new page here. Okay. Alrighty. So how do we use Typecraft? What do we do here? So you'll notice as soon as you click into it, if you scroll down, you've got the sample text that it gives you, Typecraft, and you've got all of these circles. As you pull on these circles, you can create different shapes for your text. So this is essentially how Typecraft works. You're going to pull on these circles and create all the different curves, waves, whatever you want to do with your text here. You're going to do it with these little circles. But first of all, let's put in what we want. So I'm just going to put sample. And actually, I think I'm going to put it in all caps. Okay, and now I'm going to pick a font. You are also limited on the fonts here. There aren't a ton in here, but usually when you are warping text like this, you're changing its shape, you want to stick with a basic straight edge font. Those are in here. You'll probably find something that you like in here. I like to go with this one here. I don't like mine to be in italic and I like it to be a pretty straightforward font. Okay, so now we've got our word sample and we have no style to it, but you can, you can outline it. I'm sorry, you can um, take the fill out. You can outline it. Um, if you outline, it's going to give you two color boxes that you can choose from. We can change the inside color to a blue, and maybe we can change the border color to like a red, and we can change the thickness on that border. Do you see down here what's happening? So if you do choose outline, you will get two different colors. Let's just work with this because it's what I have on here. So we've got this red and blue um design going on here let's just drag down the bottom of each side and there is no snapping if you have other um design software and you're familiar with snapping this tool does not snap but that's okay you can eyeball it and see how you think you want it to look okay so if that's looking good to you and you want to put that on your page you simply hit add element to design and it popped over here onto your page. You can size it as you want. When you are here, once you've got it how you want it and you've put it in your design, you can't come up here and change its colors or anything. You'll notice there's 
nothing. If I click in here, I get no editing options unless you come back over here. So you click out of it, you have a whole new blank type craft over here. You can start a new design. If you click it, you will get your design over here and then you can edit. Say I want to change these colors. I don't want it red and blue anymore. I want it um, green and orange. I'm gonna make the inside green. I'm gonna make the border orange. Sure. Let's say that's what I wanna go with. Okay, I can update this element and it has now changed to the green and orange. If you want to make changes, that's how you'll do it. You'll select your item over here and then you'll come back into the Typecraft app and edit. Okay, let's do something different now. Um, let's reset the shape and let's maybe try to make it into more of um, a wavy type thing. So to wave it, we're going to want to just make it a little bit bigger, first of all. Okay, so now it's a little bit larger to start with. Let's actually even make it longer this way. And we need to do the same thing over here so it's not all smushed. Okay. And now I can start waving it. I'm gonna come up here. So I also need to come up here. And then I'm gonna come down here. So I need to come down here. And these handles that it gives you, you can move all around. You can do whatever you want with any of these handles that it gives you. Okay, so for the sake of quickness, let's say this is the wave that I want. I will update the element and it has come over here as this wave. Now let's say I don't want to update it anymore. I want to leave this one here, but I want a whole new element. Just click out of it and you're going to get a whole new one. All right, let's go type our word again. Let's make a new shape. Oh, we need to pick our font here. Let's do this one again. Um, let's just leave this black for now and let's kind of do like a megaphone type shape. So I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna pull this down. And that doesn't look anything like a megaphone because we kind of have to work in here some. So I'm gonna pull this up just a little bit. I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit. And now I kind of have this funky wavy megaphone, but that's okay. If you just pull, you will notice these lines go straight. So once you get them straight, you're gonna have your megaphone. Okay, and let's see here. That's probably pretty good. So let me just add this element over here. And here is a simple, megaphone and you can mess with these more. I'm just trying to be a little quick here so this tutorial doesn't drag on and on and on. Let me delete these <clears throat> and let's do let's do more of a squished in the middle and bigger on the ends type, you know, like you're squishing something in in the middle. So um, I'm just gonna leave the word type craft but I'm gonna change the font to the one that we've been working with. Or do we want to try a different font? I mean, there's a lot of different stuff in here. Let's go with this bubble. I can't even read that really. Okay, sure. Let's see whatever this is. No, I don't like that. Let's do our tried and true font that we've been using this whole time. Okay. So if we want it to scrunch in the middle, we need to pull both sides. And now it's squished in in the middle. Uh, it's a little too much squish for your liking. Then just bring that down, bring that up, and you have it less squished. 
Take your color box. Let's change it to um, change it to a pretty blue. Okay. And we're good. Let's add this element. So as you can see, you can pretty, make, pretty much make any type of shape that you want. Um, I'm going to make a football. Let's, let's make a football. I'm going to reset this shape here. I'm going to turn this into a football. So we want it arced at the top. And we want it arced at the bottom. And I don't know any footballs that have straight sides or straight edges, ends, points, whatever these are. They need to be pointed. <laughs> So let's make it pointed. Okay, and now that's a little too pointy. So I'm gonna bring these out some, bring these out some. I'm gonna move this all together here. And you'll just play with your shape until you get it to look like what you want it to look like. That looks a lot more like a football. Let's change its color. Let's make it brown because footballs are traditionally brown. Of course, you can get them in all different colors, but okay. Here's our football update element. And it is off the page, so. So there you go. So you see, you can pretty much do anything you want with this fun little app. And it's all within Canva, and it is all free in Canva. All right, guys, that's all I have. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. I just wanted to do a quick video and tell you guys some things that are going on here on my YouTube channel. First of all, I want to say thank you to each and every person who subscribes and watches my videos. My channel is growing so much and I am so thankful to each and every one of you who watch and subscribe. I like to create free content and tutorials here. Um, I really believe in helping people and that is exactly what I try to do here at Crystal's Crafties. And so I was trying to come up with a way to provide more value to you guys and to provide you more access to me directly. As the channel's growing, I'm finding it harder and harder to um, reply to every comment or to give detailed answers to the questions that you guys have on the tutorials. So I think I found a way to make that happen, and that is with YouTube memberships. I will now be offering three different membership levels. The basic level is $2.99 a month. And with that, you're going to get a custom badge next to your username. So if you make a comment on a video, you're going to, it's going to show that little badge by your username. And the longer you've been a member, the more elevated your badge will get. There's also going to be some custom emojis. Um, I have created some different emojis that only members will get access to. And you'll be able to put them in your comments to just help you stand out a little bit. The third thing, and the most important part of this membership, is the priority reply to comments. So this is what I'm having trouble with. I'm not able to really get to every comment anymore, but I will make sure to give priority to members and reply to their comments and their questions before I move on to non-member comments and questions. So that's the basic level for $2.99. The VIP level for $4.99 has all of the same things as the basic membership but it's also going to have early access to YouTube videos. So they will be released out to the VIP members before they're released to the public. And here's the big one. You're going to get access to my paid members only Facebook group. In this group, I share free files. I answer questions. We're a big community of crafters helping crafters. You can get answers to all kinds of different um, Photoshop, Adobe, Quick Design Space, Silhouette, whatever questions you have, you can ask this community and we are there to all help and support each other. So that's what you're going to get in the VIP membership for $4.99 a month. And then if you want to upgrade to the Elite membership for $9.99 a month, you'll get everything from the basic membership, you'll get everything from the VIP membership, and you will also get Elite members only live streams and elite members only tutorials. Okay, so
So guys, if you love my tutorials and you want to help support my channel, please consider joining Crystal's Crafties. You can just click the little uh, join button next to subscribe down below this video. And thank you so much guys, your support really means the world.